Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World Daily with me, John Jordan. So the news today is that Tops and Wax have done a deal. Um, so Tops are pretty well known, certainly in the US, um, for making collectible cards, trading cards, that sort of thing. We can see here they've done a lot of stuff, especially baseball, Star Wars, WWE, and Garbage Pail Kids. And um, <laughs> actually, the deal um, that's been announced is that they're bringing Garbage Pail Kids to the Wax blockchain. So. If you're like me um, and didn't grow up in the US, uh, Garbage Pail Kids may not be <laughs> a very big brand. Um, actually, it's been going 35 years. It's actually quite interesting if you look into the history of it. Um, it kind of started off as a, as a kind of parody of the Cabbage Patch dolls when they were pretty big in the 80s. And so the Garbage Pail Kids are uh, kind of a, a version of it. It's kind of an interesting kind of subculture. Quite a lot of um, kind of good cartoonists have worked on it. Um, we'll go into that in a bit. Um, but uh, so what they're doing is in a sense, uh, exactly what you'd expect when it comes to kind of collectible things on a blockchain. So they have these cards. There's been obviously loads of cards over the 35 years. There's been cards actually in the US and in the UK and, and Australia and various other places have had their kind of own sets of cards. There's been limited edition cards. Um, but they're going to put out these cards and they're also going to be NFTs on the WAX blockchain. The WAX blockchain is a version on of the EOS blockchain. It runs on the EOS IO SDK. So broadly similar to EOS, but it's a separate blockchain. Um, so you're going to have these NFTs, um, and uh, here's an example here of uh, Leaky Lindsay. Um, so you obviously it's going to have the manufacturer, the card name, when it was minted, created on the blockchain, how the rarity of it. So um, one in 199 looks like. Um, and then obviously the rest of the stuff is sort of uh, kind of made up. But uh, the point of putting something like this on a blockchain is you can see um, who's owned it all the time. You can kind of track that through. You can track the price of which it's sold. A um, bit optimistic, I think they're suggesting that these are going to sell for $10,000, $40,000, but hey, hey, who knows? Um, so in that sense, it's kind of interesting. Um, I guess it will appeal mainly to US people. Um, I'm not really sure that when we kind of thought about Wax was talking, you know, kind of uh, teasing, it was going to have a big brand, IP brand, collectible brand on its blockchain. I'm not sure we anyone thought Garbage Pail Kids was going to be that big brand. Maybe I imagine um, in terms of tops, they'll, they'll look to see how this one goes. And then if it kind of works out well, other ones will come on. But more generally, we've seen people like Panini, who do a lot of kind of um, stickers, football sticker cards, um, you know, looking at this sort of thing. Obviously, we've seen examples of things like Crypto Kitties, which are a bit more kind of crypto native, obviously created for the blockchain. But it's interesting to see this kind of, uh, you know, these kind of companies who have built fairly substantial businesses on the back of physical collectibles. How can they bring the blockchain into that? And and the blockchain solves some problems. It also obviously creates other problems in the sense that you have these things that are just digital. You know, you can't, the, the, the whole point of Garbage Pail Kids was they were pretty cheap kind of sticker packs and you could stick them everywhere. And that was kind of how, how kids kind of liked them. Um, obviously, if you're owning something on the blockchain, then you don't have the same sort of uh, sort of a kind of tactile nature to it. But one thing I did think would be interesting is is to kind of to go in and quickly look through some of these garbage pail kids. Actually, see they they are actually pretty gross. So I think it's kind of interesting um, to kind of just have a quick look through some of the some of the examples and see why well, actually this this is probably a, a smarter move than than it kind of appeared at least to me um, when I first read about it. So this is a fairly random selection. I just pulled these off the internet. They're, I'm sure, um, from lots of different eras of the Garbage Pail Kids and lots of different kind of um, you know nationalities. So, um, but it's kind of it gives you a flavour, I guess, of the kind of the slightly uh, gross out, anarchic sort of quality that some of these things uh, cards have. And, and you know, you can imagine, I can imagine th th this kind of working now. I'm not necessarily sure um, how it works on the Wax blockchain, which hasn't been particularly well used at the moment. It's basically got one game on it, Prospectors. Um, which was a wax game, an EOS game that came to wax. So I'm not quite sure if this kind of broad culture thing will fit on it, but who knows? Um, so we have Adam Bomb, uh, and it's kind of funny. Um, I mean, some of these, some of these probably, um, you know, coming from 1986. This one, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not quite sure that the uh, they would release necessarily these ones because the culture of the, the culture has moved on a bit, isn't it? But anyway, there's Armpit Brit, <laughs> um, Babbling Brook. Bony Tony, it's kind of cool. Clark can't. That one's quite funny, I think. Um, so just point out, yeah, these were all stickers. So these were all physical stickers, and you can kind of see there's there's like a number on them, and this is the there was a, a and B versions often, and then you could kind of peel them off. They were kind of die cut cards you could kind of stick on things. Um, oh, that's just the general uh, artwork. Um, Gasly Ashley, <laughs> which is kind of gross. 
<laughs> this is some of these disgusting really great in gary yeah there's kind of you see how humor is going to move on <laughs> it's horrible uh handy randy i like that one actually that's quite clever that's quite artistically quite an interesting uh uh kind of a juxtaposition that's <laughs> funny uh leaky Lindsay, the bomb we saw before there's a lot of snot humor in these cars at least in the original ones um molly pop is actually kind of disgusting e eating her own eyeball there's quite a lot of that stuff going on uh peeled pool again <laughs> oh, it's disgusting valerie vomit a bit bit more kind of obvious <laughs> but still still not not very nice <laughs> Uh, that's enough. So there we go. <laughs> the, the, the garbage pail kids. Um, from that point of view, I don't know. It could be quite fun actually. Um, Wax have done a lot of work with stickers. Um, I, I guess the thing that I'm not sure about is, is kind of having this kind of fake thing where it's priced them at forty thousand dollars. I mean, I think they're kind of fun. I think I might actually might collect them, but not not if they're going to be um, a lot of money. But they, yeah, it'd be interesting to see anyway. Um, so anyway, that's the news for today. Uh, I learned something about garbage pail kids, so uh, that, that's good to know. Thanks for uh, watching. Um, uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, Blockchain Gaming World all about the world of blockchain gaming um, we do this new segment uh, kind of kind of fairly regularly um, in terms of like news but also go into depth into a lot of blockchain games so if that's your thing or if you're interested in it please do subscribe otherwise thanks for watching and hope to see you again <laughs>